And when I spend time in Africa, brothers and sisters, I find out what can be done with little or nothing. I remember one day saying to my grandmother, I said, I'm hungry and I don't have any food. I'm hungry and I don't have any food. She said, you got some flour? I said, yeah. She said, you got some baking soda? I said, yeah. You got some salt? I said, yeah. She said, you got a little oil? I said, yes. She said, well, honey, you got biscuits. <laughs> what I want to say to my brothers and sisters, you got some flour? Yeah. You got some baking soda? Yeah. You got some salt? Yeah. You got some oil? Yeah. Then we can make biscuits. Yeah. No matter what happens, we can find ways to do what we need to do to fight against That's HIV right. and AIDS. as a gift to all of my sisters and brothers who are remembering folks who have passed away. I want to send this out as a gift to my brothers and sisters who have worked in this epidemic for years and years and years, 20 years, 25 years, some of us, in this epidemic, that God will give you strength. Just a chorus. God gives more grace as our burdens grow greater. And God gives more strength as our labors increase. And to added affliction, God adds mercy and to God has multiplied peace. And when you have exhausted, I know about this, our own store of endurance, have you ever felt like your strength was about to fail? And your task is just begun and when you have depleted your heart of resources that's when God's full giving is only begun for God's love, hallelujah, has no limit. Oh, and God's grace has no measure. And God's power has no boundaries known unto man. For And then keep so 